take a look at this uh, reaction to the recently released Mo Ibrahim Index of African Governance is still continuing. Even though South Africa retained its fourth position of the 54 assessed African countries, challenges still remain. The index looks at progress made particularly in fields such as safety and rule of law and sustainable economic opportunity. To discuss this further, we are joined in studio now by Kingsley Makubela, who is the CEO of Brand South Africa. So good to see you. Welcome to the program. Good morning. Thank you. All right. So um, I mentioned in the, in the introduction that South Africa retaining number four. Is this good or should we, should we be improving as opposed to stable? It's not only the position that we, we occupy. It's to look at different categories. If you look at the categories on security and the rule of law, you realize that we're doing very well, uh, despite the fact that in that category, a subcategory that deals with personal security, we're not doing well. Yeah. And that's, that has been an issue that has been dragging us. But the rule of law, we're doing very well. Right. Uh, I think we're ranking very top, 96% is quite good in terms of that. Let's look at the, the countries that are ahead of us. First position held by Mauritius, then Cape Verde, then Botswana, and then ourselves. You know, when, when we look at those respective countries, what are they doing that we are not doing? Because we, we want to be the best. We do want to be the best, and we want to see ourselves improving. So what do we need to follow suit to try and up our game? I mean, take Capo Verde. A very small nation. The complexity of running smaller nations are much better compared to what we have here. A, a highly complex, huge communities. So those issues are not taken into place. The more Ibrahim is basically looking at issues around governance. Yeah. So sometimes it would be good to compare apples with apples. But having said that, these countries are doing very well in terms of their own governance systems. And I think we really need to uh, uh, up our end in some of the areas that we are having, particularly around personal safety. Yeah, that's the one I wanted to bring up now. Um, our crime levels are too high, and I think that this is one of the biggest deterrents that we face. Uh, as brand South Africa, how badly does this affect our image? I mean, when we, when, when we are seeing this on a daily basis, we see in crime stats coming out, this is obviously having a huge and negative effect on our country. Absolutely. I mean, if you look at the statistics released by SABS a few weeks ago, they are telling a particular story. And I think there's a need to address that. I think as brand South Africa, we're really concerned about issues that have a negative impact on the brand. And I think quite honestly, we need to address those issues that are negatively impacting because people tend to perceive us in terms of those negative issues. I mean, if you look at the statistics released by WEF recently, mm. the question of safety and security, it's an issue, okay. So those are issues that we need to, re to, to deal with them. But having said that, I mean, if you look at economic development, if you look at the Mo Ibrahim, look at the WEF report, you realize that in terms of business opportunities and how the country is faring, we're doing fa fairly better. Even though Saki said the business confidence within the country is very low since 1993. And it's quite, it would be quite interesting to, to understand why and what are the details that really informed the research by Saki? Yeah, yeah. Elaborate a little bit more for us. What, 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 what bothered you about that? I, I don't think that uh, the business confidence in this country has to be lower than uh, 1993. Uh, they are fundamentally, I have a challenge about understanding why is that so low. I mean, of course, they're looking at the question around the energy. And if you look at uh, what we've done as a state in terms of energy security since 1994, 80% of people now have access to energy compared to where we were. So I really don't understand lower than 1994 would raise a challenge. The economy, of course, has grown since 1994. So what are the issues that are informing that? I, I, I'll reach out to, to my colleague in Saki Allen to try to understand what are the issues. Good. I suppose we should invite him in and perhaps we can have that conversation with him Absolutely. and find that out. Just getting back to this, this, um, the Mo, Mo Ibrahim Index of African Governance, um, how does the index like this one impact our image? You know, every index that people conduct on the country it has both negative and, and, and positive impact. And I think we are very much concerned about issues that are negatively impacting on the brand precisely with the, with the idea to address those issues. I mean, if you look at the Mo Ibrahim around uh, 
human security issues. I mean, we've done very well in education. Uh, we've done very well even in terms of wealth in education. So the idea here is to try to address issues that are being identified because, of course, these indexes are an independent assessment yeah. on how we're doing. And I think we need to take that into account. We can't deny an independent assessment on how we're doing. They are both negative and positive issues coming out of these indexes. Yeah. Well, if we look at the bottom of the, the, the 54 countries, uh, those countries that are right at the bottom are Qatar, uh, South Sudan, and then Somalia. And those are countries that really certainly, uh, when, when we look at the, the bigger picture of Africa coming in at the bottom and South Africa taking a fourth position, I mean, w w we, we, we still are a shining example in Africa and we can never, ever forget that. But if you look at those countries, these are countries where uh, building of the state institutions has been affected by a variety of issues, civil war and so on. And that's why you see they are feeling so poor in terms of the capacity of the state. And yet you look, if you look at where the capacity of the state is much stronger, easy to manage, you see this are going up because the more Ibrahim deals with issues relating to governance. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's leave it there for now. But the word coming from those that recently released the Mo Ibrahim Index were basically saying that uh, the index was a warning sign for all of us um, and basically only shared and sustained improvements across all areas of governance will deliver the future that Africans deserve and demand because mostly what was noted in this particular index was that countries either stalled or they reversed. And I think we're in that stalled category, so we need to start going forward. That's a big thing. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you. Always lovely to see you talking about Brand South Africa with uh, the man that knows all about it. He's the CEO of Brand South Africa, Kingsley Makobela. Thank you. All right, let's take a break. We'll see you after this. Stay tuned to Morning Live.